guys, how's it going? So today we have a couple of things to work on. The first one I'm very excited about, we're heading down to the garden center to pick up four containers for the brick patio that is underneath all the snow behind me. I think we probably have about a foot of snow on the ground, maybe more in some spots, a little less in others, but yeah, it's beautiful out. But you can't actually see where we're gonna place the pot. So today, the goal is just to go pick them up so they're not in the way down there. We're just gonna set them on their pallets like they're each on an individual pallet because these are great big containers. They're the extra large version of the containers we have at the corners of the Hartley because for this area to be the right scale, we felt like we needed to have a little bit of a larger size pot. Douglas, what are you doing? Hey, bud. Hey. Anyway, we're going to go do that first thing. And even though we can't place them today, it will be fun to have them here. And then uh, we're going to make a rosemary tincture. I'll explain a little bit more about the benefits of tinctures and um, rosemary and all of that. But I thought it would be fun to start experimenting with a little bit of that. Uh, it's something that my mom always did with us growing up. And uh, yeah, I'm just interested in it and I thought it might be fun. So that, it actually takes six to eight weeks. You have to set it aside for six to eight weeks for it to be ready. Uh, but we're gonna get the process started today. So that's what's on the docket. You know, there's not a tremendous amount we can do outside at this moment. We could go look at the pond really quick though. Let's do that. The truck is still heating up. I just spent about 30 minutes knocking snow off of the back because I, you know, we had it off the top of the truck, but the bed of the truck we didn't worry about because we weren't going to be picking up any large loads. So I got to looking at it and thought, well, I gotta get the snow off the top of the cover. Otherwise I won't be able to get anything in there. All right, look at it out here. Oh my word. Oh, look at the chairs. And the pond. Whole bunch more ice. Now we're keeping a very close eye on water level because when it started to ice up, you don't want any ice dams to form and you know, backing water up and leaking out and thus draining the pond. Uh, so we've been keeping a very close eye on that. You can see the little floating heater in there and it hasn't frozen up all the way though. You can see there's a lot of water movement still going on. There's water coming from here. There's water movement here and there's a lot of water movement right up there. That was just kind of a just in case sort of thing. And here comes Paul. He's getting the tractor ready so that he can unload each of the pallets that I bring. I can only fit one pallet at a time, so we're gonna take four trips down to the garden center. Thankfully, it's just a couple minutes down the road. The uh, trailer that we have is too snowed into its spot, and I don't wanna try to unearth it at this moment. Today's high is 35, though, and the next 10 days, we're in high 30s, low 40s. So this snow won't last too awful long. So even though we're gonna just set the pots down on their pallets in the snow today. I think by the end of the 10 day, we might have our spots opened up to where we can actually play some, which will be exciting. Okay, Douglas, now you are just, I can't walk. Okay, go, move, move, come on. What are you doing? All right, guys, let's head down to the garden center and get the first load. Good morning. I like your hat. You know what, That's isn't a, this an epic bobble? That is a, that is the most epic bobble I have ever seen. It's it's creating its own weather. <laughs> yeah. Look at, guys, you're on yep. the roof. Getting the roofs cleared off. Yep. Oh my goodness. You know, we've had quite a lot of, you know, storms come through the last couple of days. And this is the day they decided to close down all the schools. They did? Which, yeah. I'm like, it's, oh. it's not even, I don't it know. It was sunny. Hence the sunglasses. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yep. So all the concrete is in the green shed here. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing everything else that you guys ordered in. Well, this is what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ah. <laughs> These are yours right here. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Yes. These are from Unique Stone, you guys. I think maybe did a, I might have already mentioned that, but. Well, they just did a beautiful job in packaging those. They, they always do. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I can do one pallet at a time. There's also more things back here. Oh, really? Yeah, there's five more, six more pallets of, of concrete fountains. And Ooh, like yeah. you guys might re uh, recognize these bins and stuff. We were in here uh, winnowing our wheat <laughs> this uh, fall. Sure. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. this in the cone shape? Those. Well, we think it is pots. Oh. 
pellets, yeah. <laughs> all these pellets, and then all of a sudden you come upon some of Espoma products. Oh, some rose tone, very nice. Oh, and there's other things in there too, it looks Oh, like. I see, like, um, it's that it's looks like seed starting mix. It, yeah, it's a, a mix. Yeah, pellet. seedlings and, and cuttings, yeah. yep. So, and then pottery. Some ceramic pottery, and very nice. Honestly, I don't even know. Oh, oh there's some lawn food. <laughs> Woo! We have our work cut out yes, us. you do. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna grab a forklift and we're gonna load up one pallet at a time. You wanna ride with me? <laughs> In the truck back to the house? <laughs> We'd stop and get a coffee. <laughs> well, that fun. I never that down. No. It's gonna go anywhere. Okay, here All we go. Right. There's Paul ready to go. That worked out well. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to fit it all the way in, but the strap really helped. So there's container number one. We're just gonna line them up right here so that they're nearby when the snow melts. Now we just need to do that three more times. <laughs> Mom came with me though. We're gonna stop and get a coffee on the way back. Gotta make it fun. and I cannot wait to unwrap them. It doesn't make any sense to unwrap them today, uh, but I think you can kind of see through here. They're fairly simple in design, and they're in the co uh, color A is it Age of Stone. Is that right, Age Stone? That sounds right. Anyway, they're just kind of a, a gray concrete color because we have such bad hard water problems. They show the least amount of damage uh, over time, so I don't feel like I have to keep staining them. But you can see the top has kind of like that rolled rim looking design. And then further down, you can see it on this one, they've got a few more ribs. Oh, I am just so excited about these. It's gonna be interesting trying to decide what to put in these because they're going on the corners of this garden. I'm gonna want them to match so it looks like they're balanced and it's unifying the space, but I've got very different light requirements for each one of them. One is gonna be full sun, one will be full shade, and the other two will be part sun, part shade. <laughs> so I'm gonna to have to try to find things that can handle that. Um, if we go with annuals this year, I, you know, something like color blaze coleus might do it just because they can, you know, run the range um, from shade to sun, so can surefire begonias. Uh, you know, if I can find boxwoods that are the, uh, like big, big enough, I would love that. If I could find some boxwood spirals or boxwood cones, that would also bring some evergreen interest into it, like winter interest. That would be really nice. I don't know. It'll just be really fun uh, to see what we end up doing 
in these. Okay, so now we're gonna get set up to make our rosemary tincture. All right, guys, we're here in the Hartley. I've got everything we need to make our rosemary tincture. And a tincture is basically a highly concentrated extract of whatever herb you're working with. So in our case, this is gonna be a highly concentrated extract of rosemary. And you can buy them ready-made, but they're so easy to make and you don't need very many ingredients, just kind of time. It takes six to eight weeks for a tincture to be ready to use. Uh, but all you need is your herb and then either alcohol or apple cider vinegar, which is the route I'm going today. This is the raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar right here. And you can use tinctures in all kinds of different ways. It's not just medicinal. You can use them in cooking. Like if you used um, the alcohol instead of the apple cider vinegar, I think that would be amazing to use in cocktails. This one that we're making today, we could use in cooking and sauces or uh, potatoes, meat dishes, all kinds of things. It's just a highly concentrated, you know, herb, which is awesome, especially if you don't have any fresh around. Uh, but you know, when you are getting ready to use it medicinally, I've kind of stayed away, like shied away from sharing a lot of, you know, like what my mom did for us when we were young, because we did so much of this kind of thing. I mean, I can't even tell you how many like gargles, uh, salves, ointments, balms, um, all kinds of poultices that my mom used on us to the point where our friends were like, what are you, what's your mom giving you? Can I have some of that? Cause it's working really well for you. And it does, it works, it's worked so well, but I've shied away from it because I feel like you have to put out so many disclaimers and caveats and all that kind of thing. So here's my disclaimer. If you're going to use any kind of herb medicinally, you know, talk with a doctor or do your own research and make your own decisions. Um, because you know, plants can be powerful, they really can be. But the way I wanna use mine, after we let our sit for six to eight weeks in our glass bottle, we will strain it into a dark glass dropper bottle, and then you can take drops underneath your tongue, and it kinda of enters your blood, bloodstream really quickly that way, and uh, I think it's like 15 drops or so you wanna take, I think some people take upwards of 30, but again, do your own research on that. And it can help with cognitive issues, you know, memory stuff, it can help, um, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. There's like a whole slew of benefits that uh, rosemary has. You can also use droppers in your hair care products because it's said to help with hair regrowth. I don't really have an issue with that, but I do have a friend that's kind of dealing with thinning hair. And so I'm gonna make her some and give her some to have her try it. Um, and also helps with dandruff and things like that. I just think it's such a neat thing that we have so much at our fingertips and I'm kind of the type, I don't really like to take a lot of other types of medicine. I mean, it has to get really bad for me to even wanna take ibuprofen. So anyway, this is kind of fun. So what I need to do is harvest, I'm gonna harvest about a cup of rosemary. The goal is to fill this jar right here. I don't know the size of this, does it say? It has a number three on the bottom. And I'm using a non-metal lid um, just to prevent any kind of corrosion. You could use um, parchment paper with a metal ring if you need to. But we're going to fill this about three quarters of the way with chopped up rosemary leaves. And then we'll cover over that with our apple cider vinegar almost to the top before we store it. So let's get that all harvested. We're going to get it all chopped up. I'm going to take all the leaves off the stems before I chop it. Uh, yeah, we'll pack our jar full. Okay, it's smelling amazing in here. I have a little bit of extra which I can use in dinner tonight, which is great. And our jar is just about three quarters of the way full. So we're gonna take our apple cider vinegar and pour it just, I mean, we're gonna leave a little bit of air in there, but not a lot. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the rim and then we'll close it up. Give it a good shake. And there it is all done. Look at that, isn't that amazing? I mean, can you imagine how it smells in here right now? It's so wonderful. Ugh, I just love it and they're so easy to make. Isn't that incredible? Just two ingredients and now time. So this jar is gonna go into a cool, dark, dry cupboard for six to eight weeks. That's how long it takes for the full extraction process. We'll go in about once a week. You might have to set a reminder on your phone, I do, uh, to go in and shake it because that's what helps break down the cell walls of the herb. 
So at the end of that six to eight weeks, which you can leave it in there longer, if you forget about it, no big deal. Just when you remember, go in uh, and strain it with some cheesecloth into a dark glass dropper bottle, and then it's ready to use. So just label it, put the date that you made it. I think alcohol tinctures will last longer on the shelf. I think they can last up to five years. Your vinegar-based tinctures won't last quite as long, so do keep that in mind. But if you're using it regularly, you're gonna go through it quicker than the shelf. I mean, unless you're making a huge, huge batch. Um, you'll probably go through it pretty quickly. So what I'll do is I will show you guys step two when we get to it. So when will that be? It's January now, so sometime in March. We'll uh, come in and strain it out and I'll show you guys what it looks like at that point. So anyway guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's kind of two projects left undone, which kind of drives me crazy just a little bit, but they were a couple of things. That one I wanted to get started and one I needed to go pick up. Um, and I wanted to include when we did that because it's all part of the process. So we will bring you along when we unbox or unpack those pots and also when we strain and get ready to use our tincture. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and we will see you in the next video.